The Warren Court explained. In 1953, President Eisenhower appointed Earl Warren to the Supreme Court. This progressive judge would be part of many cases that would lead to significant social change. From 1953 to 1969, the court's unique ideology made decisions on segregation, education, women's rights, and criminal rights. The first major case, Brown v. Board of Education, involved many African-American families, including the Brown family in Topeka. The African-American children were forced to attend schools farther away rather than closer, but white schools. The court voted unanimously 8-0 in favor of Brown. Although many southern states retaliated by closing down schools or using military force, this case helped pave the way of desegregation and civil rights movement. Another court case, Engel v. Vital, ruled that schools could not require students to pray. And Tinker v. Des Moines Independent Community School District protected students' rights when students wore black armbands to protest the Vietnam War. In both cases, the Warren Court protected the First Amendment speech, press, and assembly. Gideon v. Wainwright was a case about a petty criminal that was too poor to afford counsel. Although he himself was convicted, the case itself ensured that everyone had the right to a lawyer. Lastly, Miranda v. Arizona began the phrase, you have the right to remain silent, or the Miranda rights, and was based on the Fifth Amendment. In short, all suspects are required to be told their rights when taken into custody. The Warren Court also aided the growing feminist movement with the case Griswold v. Connecticut by striking down a state law that prohibited contraceptives. This right to privacy gave women power over their own bodies. Lastly, Baker v. Carr ensured that voters would be represented equally. Before, districts could be redistributed so certain votes counted more. This one man, one vote was supported by the 14th Amendment of Equal Protection. These significant cases would help support the growing movement towards social change and equality.